Well, as you remember, we came down, we opened the runway, which is a big deal. And I have honestly been able to travel the globe on my trade missions and talk about how Virginia is the only state in America that has now a 3,000 foot runway. In fact, the only runway, but a 3,000 foot runway. Boy, people just open up when you tell that to them because it shows that Virginia is dedicated to the UAV market and that we're going to invest the dollars to do it. This is going to be transformational for this whole region down here in Wallops uh, Island. It's going to be spectacular. Uh, it's going to bring a lot more business in. As I say, we're now doing the sea. We've done a lot in the air. We're putting 55 miles of sensors in for the autonomous vehicles on the road. So we literally are leading in this area, which is so important for us. You know, this calendar year, uh, we haven't seen any, uh, you know, flights out of the $150 million uh, uh, spaceport that we have here. And increasingly, we're seeing flights being, you know, taking off from Florida instead. So, you know, are we getting our money's worth there from that? Well, right I think now? so. And I think a good indication the other day is Northrop Grumman has just purchased Orbital ATK for $7 billion. Let me tell you the first thing. I won't be governor when it closes in March, but you can do the math. Uh, those are both Virginia companies, and that is going to be a huge capital tax-paying event for the Commonwealth of Virginia. We are going to make hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars uh, when that is sold. So, but put that aside for a second. There's going to be a launch this year. They delayed it. You know, it all depends on NASA and the supply. So, you know, you've got a couple of companies going up. You had the international partners going up, and I think they're doing about, I think, one a month. And uh, it got pushed back a month, all because what's the supply that's needed? There's nothing we can do about it. But our marker's down. Uh, Orbital ATK is ready to go. And uh, this will go on for years. And I just left, as I say, Langley Research Center. They're planning now going to Mars. Um, but we're at the forefront of all that. And so the investment may not pick today or tomorrow or 10 years, but 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. We have a marker down here in Virginia, which we never had before as it relates to space. And with Langley there and this, what we have here today, this is what I'd say we're building for the future.